Hello, family. I wanted to come on and give a quick word of encouragement through a testimony. Um, something I was led to share. <clears throat> so I had to pull over from work and uh, give a quick message. Uh, I think that's what I'll start doing when I'm felt led to share. Um, uh, <clears throat> sometimes I'm led to give messages. And I say I'll do it later. And uh, things come up and just don't end up sharing. So uh, I'm going to start being a little uh, more obedient. going to try to make these messages shorter. So I'll get to it. Uh, before I quit smoking cigarettes and stopped going to the doctor for medication-assisted treatment through opioid addiction, um, taking Suboxone, um, I was I was worried. I, th I thought about it uh, a, a too, uh, thought about it too much when the Lord was coming back, and I would I would pay attention to people who were coming on and 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 and, and setting dates. Um, it, it just I was worried about it. And I think the reason I was worried about it, because I knew I had something I hadn't taken care of yet. I'm not sure if smoking cigarettes or if the medication-assisted treatment would have kept me from being um, first fruit. But I know this for sure. Um, as far as my walk, I hear from the Lord much more clear now. My relationship with Him is much better, much closer. And it definitely helps me um, to preach with conviction. Um, like it talks about in the Bible, when you take the plank out of your eye, you know, it, it just does a lot for preaching with fire and conviction um, because I've done what the Lord has asked. And I don't have a problem telling somebody when I see something that's taking them down to the, the path of destruction to, to, to call it out, let them know, warn them. I, I'm not trying to rule over you. I'm trying to warn you uh, out of brotherly love. And, and, and that's what it means to, to love thy neighbor as, as you love yourself. Um, I, I'm trying to share a message that I know is the truth that will take you to destruction. And I'm trying to let you know so you can change. You'll either have ears to hear or you won't. But um, for those who aren't sharing on YouTube, there, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just now how this can help you in your daily walk. <clears throat> is uh, you'll hear much clearer from the Lord and you won't be as worried about when he's coming back because you will know that you are ready no matter when he comes back. And that's where the comfort and the peace comes from. Um, over the last couple weeks, there's a peace about me that is like no other. Um, it's because whenever he comes, I know I'm going to be ready. It's... It's an amazing feeling, and I hope that gives encouragement to people. Let the Lord shine that flashlight in your corners of your home, which is your body, your being, um, and and find anything that would keep you from Him. Get rid of it. Anything is possible with Him. Without Him, I couldn't have done any of the things He has helped me remove, and it has been a lot. A lot. Um, I have tried for the last 10 to 15 years to quit smoking haven't even come close haven't come close and I, honestly I, honestly i have not thought about smoking another cigarette since i quit smoking that day all praise and glory to the lord i am nothing i am nothing without him right beside me but with him beside me anything is possible so i encourage you anything that keeps you from hearing him or being closer to him get it get rid of it it'll do wonders for your walk with the lord you won't be as worried about when he's coming back you'll just know you're ready and um and, and there's 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 just there's nothing that can be said for that type of peace uh, i hope those who have ears to hear will hear it um i love each and every one of you for those who support me uh especially yesterday I love you all. I, I really, I love you all. From the bottom of my heart, the Lord spoke to me through so many people yesterday, and uh, I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I don't do this for, for views. I don't do this for money. I'll never monetize this channel. I'll never ask anybody for a dollar. Um, this is all about bringing people to the Lord. It's the last hour, and um, we got work to do. So thanks again. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to get to work and uh, all praise and glory to the Lord. He is worthy. Love you guys.